Hi everyone, this is Sybil with The Distance Calling. This is your channel for smart travel, tips, tricks, and advice to help you discover all that's possible for your next adventure. Today's video is about Gigaroa. It is an audiobook that I read on Audible. And if you haven't subscribed to Audi Audible for audiobooks, please do. It is one of my favorite things on earth for driving Doo -doo 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 to listen to. Um, so Gigaroa. It is a book by Ashley Poston, and hold on, let me pull up the full deets on this because I want to make sure that I give you all the information. Uh, and it is read by, so narrated by Eileen Stevenson and Tristan Morris. And so this book is actually read by two people, not usually my jam. I usually like one reader just doing all the voices because otherwise I kind of sometimes get confused by the two voice people. But I loved two people reading this book because the person who reads Elle, who's our heroine, and Darian, who's our hero, they do such a good job going back and forth between the two of them, especially they have a tech, they have text, they talk a lot through text messages. They do such a good job, the intermingling of their voices, it's so good, especially for like the romantic moments. Um, it was really great, and I actually kind of fell in lo love a little bit with Tristan Morris's voice. It's so dreamy. Um, so, yeah, I really, really fell in love with the, the dual voices. So what is Geekerella about? Geekerella is a Cinderella geek book about stardom and fandom and the love, kind of the love of like, how would you describe it? The love of having just being in love with love, being in love with fandom, being in love with a genre of of something that you you can't get enough of and then it's being taken away from you. I, I guess that's kind of like the deeper emotion of it. Uh, and, and as somebody who is a huge fangirl of kind of geekdom, like I'm a huge X-Files fan um, and I'm a huge Supernatural fan and I, I grew up in a, in a family of huge geeks and nerds. Um, I, I loved that part about this book. The part I didn't like as much as the Cinderella story because I find Cinderella to be a doormat and sadly she's a super doormat. Elle is a super doormat in this book and she I found her crazy frustrating. Darian on the other side was fantastic. He was a great hero and he did a, a, he was just great and I loved him and I just wanted to take him home and snuggle him all the time. So and Sage, who is our fairy godmother, she she she's the daughter of a food truck, truck vendor. She drives the Magic Pumpkin, and it is a big orange pumpkin food truck that makes like pumpkin fritters and stuff like that. And she wants to be a costume designer. And I would love to see her in more books because she's way more interesting than Elle, who's kind of like whatevs. Um, so sadly, the hardest part for me for this book was Elle. So what is this book um, basic plot about? It's a Cinderella book. Um, Elle has an evil stepmother and two evil sisters, stepsisters, and one of them is not, as kind of spoilers, not as evil, but that's how the real Cinderella story goes. One of them is not as evil and one of them is like super evil. Um, she has a mother who died and a father who dies later. Um, and is le she's left alone with her evil step stepmother who is very, very evil. Um, Elle walks around needing to be rescued and acting like a doormat. Um, what's important to Elle is that she is part of the Starfield fandom, which is kind of like Star Trek. Her father had, had met her mother through the love of their mutual love of cosplay and Starfield cosplay specifically. And they had done that together after her mother passed away. Her father continued his love of Starfield with her. So it was something that they all had joined together and loved. When he passed on, for some reason, which is not made clear to me through the book, and I felt was a kind of a weak point, uh, she feels that although her father started this conference for Starfield, started this giant like Comic-Con-esque con in Atlanta, that she couldn't continue to go to the con and couldn't participate in the con and just kind of gave up Starfield. Um, all together except for a secret love of it and um, but she decides that she wants to go because now they're re they're relaunching they're rebooting the movie just like they did with Chris Pine in Star Trek and they're relaunching the Starfield movie which the prince of our of our novel Darian Freeman is going to be a part of he is our he is our prince and he is the star and she has 
no love for him. She's not about him at all. And um, she thinks he's going to be crappy at it. So how he and she hook up is via texting and a cell phone. So he gets the number of the person who started the Starfield Con, Elle's dad. Now, of course, he's dead, but Elle keep, has kept his cell phone for personal reasons because she loves her father and she kept that phone number. So he hooks up with her and he has been impersonating his assistant. It's like, hey, I can't do this con. And she doesn't know who the heck he is because he hasn't said, hey, by the way, I'm this fancy star, Darian Freeman. Instead, he's just like, I'm Commodore. I'm, I'm this captain. And she thinks he's cosplaying this guy. And so they kind of like meet and they have relationship via these very sweet text messages. Um, and there is, it's very well done how the Cinderella aspect takes place through there, glass slippers and balls and lost mix, miss moments together. But, oh my goodness, she is such a doormat. But seeing Darian through the eyes of a prince who is, would be modern day prince as in a guy who, what is it like to be a TV star? What is it like to then try to move into movies? Watching his action play out it was really fun and I really enjoyed it. So this book is great to listen to. It, the pace is really fast. It's very sweet. I, I almost cried at parts. I was very like <laughs> weepy at times. Um, I think whether you're a girl or a boy, you will like it. If you love fandom, if you're a nerd, if you're a geek, if you've, if you've ever obsessed about anything ever, you will love this book. So that's what I think. Um, hey, listen to an Audible. If you're not an audio reader, pick it up. I'm sure you'll enjoy reading it just as much. All right, that's Sybil's take. Enjoy it. Oh, and if you have not subscribed, make sure you do if you thought that this was helpful. Uh, I'd, I'd love to see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.